Hi, this is Julie with Beataholic, and today I'm very excited to show you a wonderful new product called Gilder's Paste. Gilder's Paste is a wax-based medium which highlights wood, metal, ceramics, even gourds and candles. Here are a few components which have been already had Gilder's Paste applied to them in several different colors. This here started out as an antique silver plated filigree piece, just a, a plain silver color, and that had the patina color of Gilder's Paste put on top of it. Here I used an African bronze, which actually has a very green tone to make the leaves an antique gold. And then here's more patina, and then here's actually a butterfly, which I used three different colors and I blended them together. That's one of the really great things about Gilder's Paste, is you can blend the colors together when they're still damp and get wonderful shades and variations of colors. You can actually even do the clasp as well. So today, to show you how to use Gilder's Paste and to show you how really easy it is, I want to go ahead and make up this butterfly similar to the one here in the necklace. So to do that, what you're going to need is you're going to need to lay down some scrap paper. I just used some printer paper here. And then you're going to need Gilder's Paste. And then when you're done, you're also going to need a clear acrylic sealer. I like to use matte finish to keep the antique look of the filigree I'm going to be doing and I just use Mod Podge. You can find this at most art stores. You can use any type of clear acrylic sealer that you like. And then if you want to get more of a, a looser Gilder's Paste, if you do want it to have a little bit of a runnier appearance and be able to paint it on, you're going to want to get, a, get some Turpanoid as well. And then finally for this technique, which is going to be the one which we just use our fingers to apply it, we're going to also need some paper towels. And in a later video, we're going to show you how to do it with a paintbrush. But in this one, I want to show you the really easy way of just applying it with paper towels. So to begin, what you're going to need to do is open your Gilder's Paste. All of the little cartridges say press here to open at one spot. You just take your fingers, pop it open. It's much like a can of shoe polish. And it does have quite an odor, so you're going to want to be able to do this in a well-ventilated area or even outside. This here is a silver color, there's a blue, African bronze. You can see that there's quite an array of colors and they're really amazing. This is patina, which is a very popular one, and even a purple. One thing to note about Gilder's Paste is each tin that we found has a little bit of a different consistency. Like the purple is super loose, you can kind of see I can just go like that with it. And then the blue here is a little bit drier. And so if you do have a little bit drier one and you want to get to that looser consistency, that's when you're just going to add some turpenoid to it. Both work perfectly fine. So let me put away a couple of these colors because for my butterfly, I'm going to want patina, iris blue, and African bronze, which are going to be these three colors right here. Reseal your Gilder's paste after you use it. You don't want to let the air get into it for too long of a period. What you're going to want to do is you're going to want to take your butterfly and apply a base color. And I'm going to do the base color in the deep iris blue. I'm just going to put my finger right into the Gilder's paste and then rub it onto my filigree. Now I want to rub kind of hard because I want it to get into the crevices and the recessed areas. And just by doing that, you can already see the difference between the original and the new one. But I want to be able to get all these color variations. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take another finger and I'm going to dip it into the African bronze and I'm going to highlight part of it, just the edges. Now I'm doing this while it's still wet so that my colors blend together. It does take about 60 minutes for Gilder's paste to dry to the touch. Now it will become somewhat dry after just even a few minutes, so if you are going to want to blend colors together, do it right away, don't wait. Okay, now I've got it on my finger, so I'm just going to try to wipe that on a paper towel. Get a little bit of it off. And now I'm going to go through back with my patina color, which is a really nice, vibrant color. And I'm just touching it lightly at this point. Now let's say that I want to take some of that off, that I feel like I got a little too much on the wings. I'm just going to take a paper towel and rub it. 
and you can see that's pulling back the vintage brass color. Don't worry, your hands are going to get messy. You can just clean them off with standard soap and water. So I even find when I've applied a few layers and I want them to blend together a little bit better, I do like rubbing them with the paper towel. Okay, now I'm going to go back and apply a little bit more even. Just touching it gently. All right, and I'm happy with how that looks. So that took all of just about two minutes and you'll see the difference between the original and the new one. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to wait 12 hours and then I'm going to go and I'm going to seal it with the clear acrylic sealer. I find that three light coats works really well. You don't want to do too heavy of a coat and if you do too few of coats then I find the gilder's paste will rub off if say you go in uh, and get wet or something happens where you're touching the clasp say you know repeatedly so you are going to want to seal it you're going to want to seal it good and I recommend three uh, light coats I also recommend that you don't go swimming in this you don't take a shower in it it is durable it's going to stand up but you don't necessarily want to be exposing it to a lot of soap and water repeatedly so have fun with your Gilder's paste it's very addictive and watch for our next video where we're going to show you how to apply Gilder's paste with a paintbrush